I know what you're thinking. I've seen a cat like that before. Well, I'm here to tell you that's not true. Let's see why. First, you need to learn a bit about cat genetics before I can explain why this particular cat is one in a million. Don't worry, I'll keep it fun and simple. Just be prepared to have your mind blown. The cat from the thumbnail looks just like a tortoise shell cat, or torty for short. The torty's coat is a patchwork of orange and black, and that alone makes this cat pretty special. How much of the fur is orange and how much is black is totally random, and every single torty has a unique pattern. This particular cat isn't like other torties, though. Let's dive even deeper to understand why. The X and Y chromosomes determine sex in mammals. Normally, females have XX chromosomes and males have XY. Not so hard, right? The interesting thing is that in cats, only the X chromosome contains the genetic code for color. Females have two X chromosomes, and that's why they can inherit multiple colors from their parents. For example, black from one parent and orange from the other. On the other hand, males have a single X chromosome, so they only inherit one color. In theory, they could be either black or orange, but never both. That brings us to a detail you might have missed in the thumbnail, the male gender symbol. While you may have seen a torty cat before, you've most likely never encountered a male torty. However, there's a reason why the title says 99.9% .9 and not 100%. In rare, and I mean very rare cases, males can also display this pattern. But how in the world is that possible? There are actually three almost unreal instances in which a male torty can be born. In the first case, the male inherits an extra X chromosome. This condition is called Klinefelter syndrome and can occur in humans. Sadly, the condition can affect the cat's health, causing developmental issues, fragile bones, and other problems. Cats born with Klinefelter have male reproductive organs but are likely to be sterile. And since the cat has two X chromosomes, it can display the tortoise shell pattern. Such cases are few and far between. For starters, even if the kitten has an extra chromosome, it would still need to inherit both black and orange colors. But there is an even more fascinating genetic mix that can lead to a male tortoise shell cat. We all know that cats typically give birth to several kittens. Still, not every embryo always gets the chance to be born. For some reason, one embryo could become unviable and stop developing. And that's not all. Its cells can then be absorbed by the other embryos. Kind of creepy, I know. That's where our male torty enters the scene. At first, in the womb, he might be a simple, solidly colored kitten, growing and waiting to be born. But if one of the other unborn embryos dies, he can absorb his unborn brother or sister's cells, including skin cells. And if the other embryo had a different color, bang, our kitten now has multiple colors and carries some of his unborn sibling's DNA. Since the DNA of this cat's reproductive organs hasn't changed, the cat will be able to reproduce, though he will only pass down his original color. Needless to say, these cases are extraordinary. Thirdly, in even rarer instances, a perfectly healthy male cat can develop spontaneous mutations in some of his skin cells, leading to patches of other colors. This cat would also be able to reproduce. And there's more. Male calico cats also exist and are just as rare as male torties. But what exactly is a calico cat? Calicos are tricolored, with black, orange, and white fur. Typically, when torties have a small proportion of white patches, it is said to be tortoise shell and white. On the other hand, cats with larger white areas are called calico cats. Calico cats are, in fact, very similar to torty cats. They too need to inherit both orange and black colors. The only genetic difference between the two is the white patches they display. Still, they look a bit different. The coats of torty cats typically have a mosaic-like pattern, while the patches of calico cats are more defined. Most torty and calico cats have intense colors, but they can also be gray and cream. Some even display tabby patterns. So just how rare are male calico and male torty cats? It's quite difficult to say, as there aren't any studies on that topic. However, several online sources state that only 1 in 3,000 calico and torty cats is male. This means that, statistically speaking, you'll need to encounter at least 3,000 calico or torty cats for one of them to be a male. To be honest, most people will only meet a few calico or torty cats throughout their lives, so it's safe to say you'll probably never encounter a male. Do these kinds of cats show up in popular culture? Do people know they're special? The answer to both questions is apparently yes. In the United States, both calicos and torties are sometimes referred to as money cats, dating back to Celtic times. People believed that tortoiseshell cats brought good fortune into their homes. Even today, the Irish and Scottish believed stray tortoiseshell cats are lucky. In Japan, tortoiseshell cats, especially torty tomcats, were considered lucky by sailors. A torty on board meant good weather ahead. 
After all, most of the very popular Maneki Neko statues that are said to bring good luck depict calico cats, which is considered the luckiest color. And in Germany, the word for a calico cat literally means lucky cat. By the way, many cat breeds can exhibit these patterns, though these cats typically go unappreciated. In fact, some breed standards don't allow tortie and calico cats to compete in cat shows. That's why you're more likely to encounter this pattern in regular house cats. What a shame! On the other hand, the calico pattern is highly sought after in the Japanese bobtail breed. Ready for another fun fact? Torties and calicos are seen as being generally more feisty than other cats. Their feistiness is affectionately called tortitude, and many cat owners swear by it. I've only seen two tortie cats in my life, both females, and one of them is super sweet and social, so I can't really attest to that. But if your cat has a tortitude, please let us know in the comments. And if you're so lucky to have encountered a male tortie or calico cat, feel free to brag so we can envy you. Don't forget to subscribe for more fun videos like this one, and I'll see you next time.